One bright morning, Ali found a glowing path inside his map. It led him to a strange forest, full of mystery and magic. Ali looked around and saw something very strange. To his left, trees with bright flowers and fruits were blooming. To his right, tall plants with no flowers. No fruits, only leaves and green branches, but if they don't have flowers, how do they grow? Let's understand. Flowering plants have flowers and fruits. Non-flowering plants don't have flowers. That they grow with spores or cones. These are flowering plants. They grow beautiful flowers. Many of them give us fruits too, like apples, mangoes, and cherries. These are called non-flowering plants. They don't grow flowers or fruits, but they are still alive and very important. Fern, moss, pine tree, algae, etc. Flowering plants give us fruits that we eat. These plants grow fruits we love to eat, yummy and sweet. Wow, these plants give us fruits. So that's where mangoes come from. This taste it reminds me of home. My mom gives me mango. But if non-flowering plants don't give us fruits or flower, then what are they useful for? A little one. Not all gifts are sweet and shiny. We may not bloom, but we do help the world grow. How? Well, listen. We give wood to build homes. We make medicine to heal the sick. Algae in water give oxygen to breathe. And moss and ferns, they protect the soil from washing away. Every plant has a purpose, Ollie, even those without flowers. Ali learned that in nature, even the quietest plants have an important role to play. Let's remember dot what we learned today. Flowering plants dot grow flowers and give us fruit seeds and even vegetables. Non-flowering plants don't have flowers, but they give us wood oxygen dot and protect the soil. Question time. Which plants reproduce without flowers? A. Flowering plants. B. Non-flowering plants. Question 2. Which plants reproduce without flowers? A. Flowering plants. B. Non-flowering plants. Like my video dot subscribe my channel.